Hi and welcome back to Wealth and Wisdom. Today we're going to continue with our study of Novax company and Novax stock. In my opinion, one of the best stocks to own right now with a bright future ahead of it. Again, it is not financial um, financial advice. I'm not an advisor. I'm just telling all that I can find online for this great company. So we have uh, the main difference between, for example, between Moderna and Novavax is their uh, approach. And they have, so for example, Moderna, Moderna has uh, mRNA vaccine and Novavax has another type. So we have, as we can see here on their web page, they have uh, more products. They have COVID-19 uh, vaccine, they have vaccine for seasonal influenza, for respiratory cyclical virus, RSV, for Ebola, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. So they have developing a lot of unique technology. So they have recombinant nanoparticle vaccine technology and matrix M adjuvant technology. So they have a lot under their sleeve. And we can see that we have they have phase three study protocol in the new uh, in the UK it has already uh, going on and we have a lot of great information here for uh, if you like to look at it more in depth so usually what they are doing is so from which I've come to read and see they have nano flu positive phase 3 results and updates and their vaccine for um, for nano their nano flu vaccine against influenza is and against the flu it's much better than sanofi's so and sanofi if you look here for example if you make a comparison sanofi makes this product the product and we have a market capitalization of uh, 119 billion dollars and their stock price is uh, 47 dollars and if you look at Novavax which we have seen have many products their market capitalization is only just small 8 billion dollars again they are in biotech which is which takes a lot and uh, or maybe better to say it um, comes with some sort of bigger risk than other stocks for example the stocks that are in the s p 500 and so on and the biggest uh, bigger blue chips but we have a great opportunity this year because we have the COVID 19 or um, and just because of that, we have, or Novax has the opportunity to save the world. And why? Why do I say that? There, for uh, the first thing to know is that hmm, right now it's the best time to start, in my opinion, in biotech, especially because we are moving toward a solution. It is true that this talk in this year has moved from about four dollars to 178 the estimate for this stock is 188 dollars and as i've seen on some pages it has been upgraded to 235 dollars but it is important to know and to say it again and again if you look for example at moderna Moderna, which is um, as mRNA recombinator and has only this product and it is important to say that it has to be stored in uh, cold storages, which is a disadvantage against Novavax, which does not need and we have a market capitalization of almost 50 billion dollars and it went from $19 to 
169 but in comparison to Novavax which has gone from four dollars and we have a much smaller market capitalization this stock right now in my opinion is still very 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 cheap it is an older company uh, about 30 years old and about if you look about Novavax last stage biotechnology company which is great investment in these times we are committed to the delivering novel products that leverage our innovative proprietary recombination recombinant nanoparticle vaccine technology to prevent a broad range of infectious diseases we produce vaccine candidates to efficiently and effectively respond to both known and emerging disease threats so they are innovating which is great we can see here if you go to their webpage novavax.com you can see how the technology work never have seen our path forward been more clear or the or the need greater yes and we do agree we have the ceo uniquely qualified stanley erk most people don't don't like him because they say that um, they are very slow to uh, give out news and their pr is lacking and he says we will draw on our experience in developing vaccine candidates for those of the world's toughest viral threats and use the power of our innovative recombinant nanoparticle vaccine platform fortified by our matrix m adjuvant to address an urgent need to reduce the human toll of vaccine preventable disease so they have a great mission and if you look back at moderna and their higher uh, market capitalization is i think that uh, the us is and politics especially i'm not politically inclined but they're pushing the mrna vaccine because they think uh, that is it, it, it is it was faster but if you look at the data the longer it takes for novavax vaccine to show uh, results the better it is because from some from some analysts we can we can say that the longer it takes the be the better the vaccine probably will be we cannot know for sure but the data looks very 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 promising so if we look at the stock let's say for you investors and traders out there if we have a similar comparable market capitalization to Moderna we should go about five to six times this price right now and this means that this stock could be one thousand dollar plus then we have uh, then we have some people saying that this stock is probably going to have a stock split so we are probably going to see for example a stock split of 1 to 10 ratio so if you own a stock at this price 129 dollars you will receive after the split uh for example 10 stocks at around 12 dollars and this would improve the uh, the volatility of the stock because a lot of smaller investors will put their money in this stock and but there is there is um why for example what about day traders we have seen that a lot of traders uh we can they have been trading this stock because it has gone up and down up and down up and down that's because we had some news and the news were not coming out all at the same time and so the stock was going up 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 and then going down for example we have a sectoral push down because of moderna you can see here that the stock has plummeted plummeted for about 20 dollars and novex was still uh, was still going great but we have still seen some correlation with uh, with these uh, stocks because again they are correlated and we have had some great news uh, especially as you can see here recombinant nanoparticle platform matrix m adjuvant they have some great partnerships 
uh, so you can read more on here we can see that this was great news from Novax it is a press release appoints vaccine industry expert Margaret C McGlynn to board of directors and she has come out with some great news that they are they are having or building their infrastructure to have around 2 billion about the possibility of producing 2 billion dollars uh, 2 billion dollar of vaccine shots the main the main uh, bonus is that their vaccine is going to sell for around 20 dollars and if we put that numbers together and we say that the uh, that that their revenue has been uh, has been relatively small we had 18 millions of revenue and we have negative earnings so but of course they are a biotech company they're investing heavily in research and development rrd and so we can expect they have received two billion dollars from the government they have uh, an offering for 500 million dollars so half a billion dollars so they are positioned to do great in the future they have invested all that money all that funds into the um, their capacity to produce more vaccines one of the best best things that they are offering is that they this vaccine does not need to be stored in cold storages so it can be uh, flown around the world for example africa and all the south continent which is in um, warm territories so where the vaccine from moderna and uh, pfizer will not be will not be uh, eligible there so that's all great news this is the appointment then we had a news for novax Ansos agreement with government of new zealand for 10 million doses of covid19 vaccine and they have um, on 21 on december they have uh, had another chief operation officer which is rick Rowley with great uh, background so we can hope for the best in the future for this great company and they have also had talks with uh, the european union which have bought 100 million of doses for them for the covax program and again based on the models we can expect an excellent efficacy of their virus of more than 95 percent and with no pr the next week we can expect maybe even 97 percent one plus on their side is that their um, nanotechnology can be um, reorganized and it can possibly have a much better uh, much better efficacy against this new uh, virus mutation and so we have we have some great news i can see the future of this company going just forward and maybe i have heard even news of some acquisitions which i think that they would not be great uh, in the future probably stan is going to retire and they are going to appoint a uh, younger and maybe more uh, pro, pro, uh, prolific um, prolific manager so i see a bright future for this company and i'm happy to be the in to be invested in this company this is uh, filmed on the 95th of december so on christmas i hope you all the best at this time if you found this information useful please subscribe and give a thumbs up it helps a lot the channel and hope you and wish you a great new year